Neville, even given the, the, the different climate conditions that you get there, this is really extreme weather, isn't it? That it is. I mean, a, lot, a number of scientists have said that uh, the uh, sort of uh, intensity of the monsoons have increased over the last few years and they've uh, attributed it to uh, the climate change and global warming. Uh, but the scramble right now is to try and get to people who are feared trapped in the debris of, uh, of these landslides. It happened early morning. Uh, it was multiple landslides uh, which uh, came down over 300 or so hamlets and homes of uh, workers of tea estates and cardamom estates in this picturesque part of, of Kerala. And uh, since then, we've heard that almost 54 people have lost their lives. There are still many missing. 250 people have been taken uh, to safe shelters. Uh, the, uh, the Indian Army has been drafted in. The Air Force and Navy have also been brought in with their equipment, including uh, the National Disaster Response Force with 250 members, plus the police, all uh, in, engaged in rescue operations. But they are being hampered by very heavy rains in, in Kerala at the moment. We are in the middle of the monsoon season and uh, the, the terrain is unstable, making it even more difficult for rescue operations. Now, uh, Kerala has, has had its bad uh, times of, uh, of floods and uh, landslides in the past. In 2018, nearly 500 people died and went missing in the, in the floods at that time. Two years later, 104 people had died because of floods and landslides. And the fear now is that uh, these numbers could rise uh, un unless rescue operations uh, are put into full gear and they try and get to all those people who are trapped under the debris of, uh, of uprooted uh, trees, rubble and mountain sludge, uh, which has come down on all these regions of, uh, of Wayanad in Kerala.